Hey, what's happening guys? Terry from On Yak Fishing, back for another fishing adventure. Uh, missed a week, unfortunately, because uh, camera issues again. So back out now with the new, the new camera, the new DJI Osmo. Um, <clears throat> we're out here at Woi Woi Bay, one of my favourite places to come fishing. Got a lot of big flathead through here, so um, yeah, we're going to uh, have a look, see what we can get into. Craig's with us, he's already fishing. Hopefully... Uh, he doesn't catch the first fish like he usually does because that normally puts a black mark on us. <laughs> but anyway, let's get into it. <clears throat> the weirdest thing that has ever happened, just pulling this fish in, felt like I was on a heap of weed. No action whatsoever, all I've got is weight. <clears throat> and I literally felt like I was dragging weed through the water. And now it's decided to wake up a little bit. All right. It's not a bad size. All right. Are you awake, love? <laughs> That's the weirdest hit I've ever had. And it's a... Whoa, now it's awake. Jesus. Jesus, it's going nuts now. I didn't realise. I think it's just suddenly woken up. It's like, hello, I don't want to be in here. Who are you? <laughs> That's nuts. I've never had anything like that before in my life. So did I. I thought that was full on weed. <clears throat> so did I. I thought I'd casted it straight into the weed and was trying to pull it out of the weed. So there we go, first flathead of the day, not caught by Craig, and it's coming at 57 centimeters. So I'm going to see if I can swim this one, but it caught, it had the uh, the hook right the way down in its gut, so I don't know if it's caused it any issues. But I'll give her a swim, see if she wakes up. If she doesn't, she'll have to come home on the dinner table. Yeah, there she goes, there she goes, and away she goes, back down to the deep. Just over the size limit that I like to keep. Mine normally between 40, absolute max 55 centimeters. When they're getting bigger than that, then um, yeah, we're putting them back. One thing to look out for as well, you can see on my thumb, as I was trying to deal with it, they've got horrible gill rakers on them. And uh, yeah, as this one woke up, it's got me a beauty right there on the thumb. So, old wives' tail, um, rub the uh, the cut on their belly, and um, yeah, it stops it from stinging. So yeah. Anyway, on to the next fish. Oh, Craig, he's in. <coughs> Looks like a decent fish. What is it? See the old drop off here? Nice old drop off. Fifty six, another fifty six. You just caught the same fish. <laughs> Yeah, man. <clears throat> Are you really shallow? <clears throat> well, I can see from here. Away she goes. Just sitting there. Just sitting there. It's probably dazed. Dazed and confused. Even that, your ugly mug scared her to the point of where she's froze. It's 
So not a bad start to the morning, both of us on the uh, off the mark with uh, 56 and yeah, both 56 and one was 57. So I've just upgraded to the bigger lure now. Exactly the same colour, the old mud blood, and uh, just see if we can entice. Maybe uh, see if there's some bigger ones sitting around. Also need to get a, uh, a feed in the esky as well because I promised the in-laws that I'd make fresh fish and chips this afternoon so <laughs> better make sure I go back with some. So literally just casting right alongside this drop off. You can see the drop off is literally about three meters away from me. It's a normal old retrieve. Just a double hop. Let it sink. Absolutely beautiful morning, sun's starting to come up. <clears throat> Splendid day for it. Oh, and he's in. Took me right by the boat. Whoa. Come up, took it right by the boat. Literally, I was just reeling it back in. I thought, oh yeah. Really then, go for another one. It's another good size. Keepable size this one though. <laughs> Probably right on that limit. Probably around about like the 50, 48 centimetre mark. <clears throat> there you go. Not a bad fish there. And just what we was after, one for the dinner table. Look at those lip rips. You always know they're hungry when they're smashing you right near the boat. Oh, you son of a bitch. <laughs> Unbelievable. Yeah, it's the big lure, yeah. <laughs> Just flip straight back here. It's hooked perfectly though, ain't going nowhere. Right, right through the top of the mouth. Ah, sometimes to calm them down. If you can get it. Just put a rag over the top of their heads. As they can't see. Oh, let it go. Come on, let it go. You've had your, you've had your fun. And there you go. Not a bad fish. Perfect size dinner table. We'll be eating fresh fish and chips today. Always put them on ice. <clears throat> Look at the sun coming up over there. How beautiful is that? It's one thing I love about fishing is the scenery. Oh, something's having a go. Drop it back down sometimes. They have a tug, drop it back down, give it another jiggle, and they'll take it. Not this time though, by the looks of it. Oh well. 
cast back out to that drop off right on the drop off there Plenty of action around here at the moment. Well, the old mud blood doing the damage at the moment. A bit like the blood worm colour. There's a nice little bit of glitter that goes through the middle of it, like a darky brown colour. <clears throat> well how nice is this? The only thing that is a little bit annoying about this area is you tend to get people coming around here and their uh, jet boats and wake boats and stuff, wakeboarding and skiing. That's why we come down this end but we're away from them. It's just a noise you got to deal with then. You in? Yeah, right. Yeah, right. Good one. Do you need me to net it? No. Going fish for fish at the moment. Well, you got to get near it. <laughs> it's not just going to come up and say, yeah, all right, go on then, lip me. <laughs> oh, no. And I got that on camera too. You wait till Christy sees that. <laughs> oh, well, shit happens. And again, it's got a bit of weight to it, this one. Oh, it's a big one. Fuck yeah. <sighs> oh, not ready yet. Come on, girl. Oh, shit. Jesus! <sighs> Holy mackerel! Calm yourself down. Calm yourself down. Wow. Woof! It's a big girl. Uh, just pulled up for a bit of a measure here on this one. Got the big old girl, this one. Let's see how big this one goes, old Craigus. 65, 64? 64 centimetres. Wait. Six, on the bigger one, too, was it? Yeah, 64 centimetres of pure. Gold. Yeah. Yeah. So, and this is the best part. Letting them go. 
Oh, disappeared. Down to the bottom. Down to the bottom. Yeah. Away she goes. Oh, How good is yeah, that? Yeah. Oh, come to the surface of it too. Yeah. Wow. That's why they drop off it. And that's what it's all about. You see where the drop off is? Yeah. Oh, it's got a bit of weight to it again. Seems to be the day for big fish today. Oh. I can't see it at the moment because of the sun. It's not a bad size, not as big as the last one. Hey? See, it's not a bad size, it's not as big as the last one. Keepable though, I think. Gonna eat like kings today. <clears throat> Lucky, <clears throat> spat the hook in the net. I'll say, go on myself to you, man. Being a little bit too aggressive, you are. Yeah, another good dinner table one. So I'm having some really good success here this morning. How long have we been out, Craig? An hour? Oh, something swimming right up into the shallows up there. So yeah, literally we've been out an hour, if that. We've got a 64 centimetre, a two fifty sixes, a 45, I've got two 45s in the bin. So not a bad start to the day. And the conditions at the moment are absolutely perfect. It's like we've been blessed today, eh? <clears throat> and I'll just show you what I'm using. So using the old TT jig head, colored jig head with the old 3.2 inch bait junkie in the mud blood so you can see the little bits of glitter that go through it and uh yeah at the moment in these uh you know muddier waters the flooded seem to be absolutely loving this uh this color so um yeah see if we can get into some more <clears throat> old craig he's on exactly the same but he's got the motor oil color so probably one of, if not the best colour, I reckon, the old motor oil. You're just not fishing in the right spot, mate. You need to come over near me. What is it? A tiny little fish? Was that a little flathead? Tiny one? Well, you know what we say. Where there's a little one, there's a big one. At least we know they're still here. <laughs> Starting to go a bit quiet, eh? Yeah. yeah. That's the one thing with flathead, they turn on and off like a light switch. They'll start feeding, go crazy for a while, and then all of a sudden they'll just turn off as if they're not there, but they are there.
Could they get any glassier? The water? It's insane, isn't it? Look at it. That would be a great picture to have above your fireplace. <laughs> Craig's in at the moment. There's a little bit of a fight going on there. Not ready to come up yet, mate. Uh, it's near the service now. Pretty well cool. You want me to net it yeah. for you? On the old Vivalicious. Yeah. Oh, it's going for a run, mate. You're going to have to play it a little bit. Oh. Yeah, okay. Well, that's a good thing. So, what we thought is going a little bit quiet. We go over to the vibes and uh, create a bite. Woke them up a little bit. Woke them up a little bit. Ooh, let out the line, mate. Let's uh, spat it. Yep. One for the esky, mate, eh? Yeah, I'll put one in and... Nice Sunday lunch. Keep Christy happy. <laughs> nice one. Craig's in again, the old Samarki vibes doing it for him. And look at the size of that flooded, that is huge. Is that a PB? <laughs> <laughs> PB Lua. Absolutely classic. He's got both books to do. Both sets of books. Well. <laughs> and there's something small here on the old <laughs> on the old shimmer shed. Yeah, it doesn't feel like much though. Or maybe like a little brim or something. Yeah, a little little pinky. Hey? Little pinky. They love the old shimmer shimmer shad. To... Yeah, one in the mouth, one in the gut. The old pinkies love the old Berkeley shimmer shads. Spot because it gone a bit dead straight into a flathead. What's it like? Any good? Is it a keeper? I could do one more for the uh, for the in laws. <laughs> Not quite, I don't know. Might be just on legal.
Good start though. Turd. Turd, 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 turd's the word. Come on. Come on, you bitch. Put that over your head. And shut up. A turd, a turd, a turd's the word. Turd, 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 turd. turd. Just a little one, Craigus. Uh, it's probably just on size. I need to get myself one of your little rulers. Got another one there, feels small. Craig! Craig! Another little one. So they're around, man. Let me get all back up. See you, buddy. Where's your mother? Yeah, so we moved up here, change of tide, change of spot, went dead where we were after having all that fun. And um, yeah, we've got the incoming tide now, so it's a nice little weed patch here, nice big drop off. Already got two small ones since moving, so could be in luck here on the, uh, the incomer. The only thing we've got to cont compete with at the moment is the uh, bloody wind. Mm, plenty of hits here. 